us through the interview as well. Lata, go ahead. Okay, I believe we have Mr. Suresh Patel, the Executive Director of Oriental Bank of Commerce, joining us uh, on that uh, forex scam and cash transfers that have been hitting headlines over the past three days. Uh, uh, Mr. Patel, good morning. Thank you very much for joining morning. us. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, uh, did your internal systems throw up any alerts about uh, your Rajnagar branch uh, and uh, the uh, transactions uh, between 2006 and 2010? Yeah, I'll just give you, these transactions happened during 2006 to 2010 mm. and uh, these accounts uh, of 11 entities, they were accounts of these 11 entities which were then closed in 2010. Mm. Uh, the amount uh, was involved as uh, reported earlier, that's about four, 557 crore and uh, this matters was reported to FIUND in March 2010. Okay, it was reported, uh, did not... Yeah, 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 reporting was done in March 2010 to FIUND. Okay, and the, did not any financial impro impropriety get uh, discovered? That's a long time ago. If you you yeah, reported in 2010. Uh, six to ten, six years to ten years back before. Okay, and they didn't come back with any uh, 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 question, any answers on uh, uh, these yes, transactions. Matter is under investigation with the ED. And but why did you report this? Why did you report them in the first place? This was reported in March 2010 to FI. No, no. Was done by the branch as for the system, as for the yeah, uh, exactly. Pattern. But why was it reported? Did you find some? See, uh, see, uh, uh, normally, uh, any any STR and CTR, we are we are supposed to report. In normal course, also many transactions which are otherwise genuine, they are also get uh, reported. So reporting was done to FIU in March 2010, and matter is under investigation with ED. No, I didn't get you. SDR, CDR, what exactly gets reported to the financial frauds uh, see, unit? Any transactions which are otherwise suspicious in nature, they are reported to FIU. There's a system already created. Yeah, but what was suspicious about this uh, transaction? See, sometimes in transactions, uh, see, they, uh, they draw transactions and if it, it may not be actually, it is only reporting. It may not be suspicious, it's only reporting. Okay. Uh, do you expect to suffer any loss because of this uh, no, transaction? No, there is no lending. It's only uh, remittance which has happened. Okay. okay. Right. Mr. Patel, uh, can you tell us how many employees are involved in this or how many... What kind that of is under investigation. Matter that matter is under investigation. So not a single person has been suspended or even uh, any suspicion. No, it's a, it's, as far as staff accountability is concerned, it's under process. Okay, but you have not identified the list of people who would be involved. No, some some. Uh, so that is what I am saying. Since it is under process, <laughs> so uh, it will take some time. But uh, matter is under process. Some of them might have been retired also. By them. Okay. But this is a, this has happened in six to ten. So maybe about six years to ten years back. Yeah. Okay. Is the Reserve Bank also asking you yeah, to give are. them data? Yeah, they are aware. No, they are aware, but have, are they asking you to give them any data on this uh, instance? That's already, uh, see, uh, as I said, it's already uh, known to the banks, not that we have come to know now. It's already, uh, internally, it's, this is already known. And uh, that is why I said everything is under process. Yeah. Are the, is the probe being extended to other branches of OBC as well now? No, this is, this is limited to this branch only. Is there any no. other transaction with Manish Jain that you all are no, aware of? No, no, we have not come across him. Have you all lent to him? No, this is uh, related to this uh, remittance only. Okay, and any other case uh, as a rela uh, uh, related to these no. kinds of transactions that uh, uh, have come to light after this no, one was identified? No, we have not. Come, no. We have not. Because this, was hap this happened a long back. This is a case for particular this branch. All right, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining Thank us, Mr. Patel. Okay, back to you, Ekta. All right. Well, OBC is currently down around 200 percent in today's trading session, and there has been pressure on a lot of these private banks, which were named as well, such as Axis as well as ICICI Bank. But on that.